So I just realized something. This entire time I've been doing one piece at a time and it took me hours upon hours. So you make your concrete super soupy with acrylic and you dab just a little bit where you want the piece to be. And you pick the piece. And you put it down where you want it. And it saves so much time and mess. Your piece does not get messy with concrete. And removing that concrete later on is going to be a little challenging. Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today we are creating mosaic garden balls. And for the mosaic, we are going to be using ceramic plates that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and tiles that I purchased at the Home Depot. So without further interruption, let us get started. So we begin by inflating an exercise ball or a yoga ball of your choice. We inflate this ball so it is as firm as possible. Then we cover the ball with plastic wrap. Once that's complete, we cover the ball with cement tape as you see me doing here. Okay, now we are going to apply the cement and you are going to mix the cement according to the recipe that I have listed for you in the description below. And mix the cement to a Play-Doh consistency. And with your hand, you are going to cover the entire ball making sure that it is at least three quarters to an inch thick. With your hand, you want to smooth out the surface. You want the uh, concrete to be even and flush to the ball. And you can also achieve this by taking a large brush and you dip it in some of the acrylic mixture and you lightly brush uh, back and forth the cement and this way you can also achieve the smoothest flattest surface possible and after you're done with the ball you want to allow three to five days to dry and I would suggest you bring the ball inside because my second ball cracked and that's because the temperature outside was fluctuating too much it was wet and then the sun would come out and then it got super uh, humid and I think it caused my cement um, to either expand or contract and that is what caused the crack. So avoid that from happening by choosing a day where you know the weather isn't going to change too much or bring the ball inside in a more controlled environment. Okay, so now comes time to smash in the ceramic plates and there is really no wrong way or right way of doing this other than just smash them and try to get the pieces to be at least an inch long and about an inch wide any smaller and they kind of disappear when it comes time for you to smear on the cement to seal your project and i chose the turquoise blue ceramic plates um, they had black and white and several other different patterns i just love the color turquoise it is my favorite and um, that's why I went with that. I also wanted to point out that you can go online and buy mosaic pieces and use that instead. You can also go to a tile store and buy bathroom tile. The small round ones are the best and use that instead of what I did here. However, I didn't want to spend the money. A dollar twenty-five per plate I thought was an amazing deal. And I wanted to give it a try to see if it actually worked. So that's why I went with this. Okay, now comes time to gluing on each individual mosaic piece and we're using the same cement mixture that we use to create the surface of the ball and the, instead you're going to mix it 
uh, into a pancake uh, batter consistency and you want to glue each piece individually. And here you see me removing the exercise ball and there's no wrong way or right way of doing this. Just deflate it and remove it and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I found uh, Portland cement in white. Look at how amazing this is. So along with the white Portland cement and the uh, fine sand that's very light color, this cement is going to look absolutely amazing. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the entire ball. So let's continue on. Okay, now comes time to uh, fill in the surface and seal all of your ceramic pieces in place. After mixing your cement to Play-Doh consistency, you're going to brush on some acrylic to the surface of the ball that you're going to be working on. And you're going to put some of this acrylic on your existing cement to make sure that the cement you're putting on sticks to the one that has already dried. Start applying the cement to the ball as I'm doing here. Press down firmly, but don't press down too hard because you don't want to smash the surface of the ball. Don't forget that your ball is hollow and it could break if you push down too hard. Um, this is why it's important that you wait five to seven days to completely dry. Continue doing this until you cover the entire surface of the ball. Don't worry if some of the pieces fall off as you handle the ball. Your concrete will take a while to set and it'll allow you time for you to put those pieces back on. It is extremely important that you clean out on each individual piece of mosaic. If you don't do this, then removing the residue from the surface of the mosaic piece after the residue has dried, it will become a very challenging task and if you want to stay tuned till the end to see exactly what happens when you don't follow this extremely important instruction so due to the curvature in the design of the plate some of your mosaic pieces are not going to sit completely flat with the surface of the ball and what's going to happen is some of the the edges of your piece is going to stick out um, once you're you have sealed your entire ball and if this is a problem for you because you have children and you're afraid that they're going to run their hands through the ball and they're going to get cut or something or somebody could walk by and 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 get cut with these small edges that stick out then i would suggest you go to hobby lobby and you purchase a small grinder and you grind out the edges of the pieces that are sticking out to make sure that this does not happen okay now we move on to the smallest ball and with this ball, I went to Lowe's and I purchased bathroom round tiles that you see here. And I went online and I purchased these mirror mosaic pieces. It is very important that you make sure that all of your pieces are of the same thickness. Or the thinner pieces that you put on, they will sit further back and they will not come through when you apply the final cement.
Hello, so I lined a thread to make sure that I have the right position and dimension of each piece that I'll be putting on. I have a total of 35 of these. And I put some tape behind it just so it's easier for me to glue them on together and keep the same symmetrical design. And then I took, you can take a pen or a pencil, whatever you want. You got a little piece of charcoal and I drew where I'm going to be gluing those pieces. That way the design looks uniform and it's not messy and it's all symmetrical the way I want it. You don't have to do it this way, but this is what I'm going with this time. All right, just wanted to point out. So let's go ahead now and start gluing these on with the uh, concrete. Okay, now we're working on the third ball and I'm not sure if you can see the crack in the cement on the right hand side of the ball. And again, this crack is caused by uh, extreme weather changes on the day that I laid the cement. And um, it's no big deal. I took some of the cement tape and I glued uh, some of the cement tape in the inside of the ball and then I filled it in as I'm doing here. However, if you want to avoid this from happening, then choose a day where weather is going to be consistent or make the ball inside in a controlled weather environment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost complete with the third and final ball and um, doing here the final laying of the cement, evening it out and cleaning it the best way that I can, but I was pretty exhausted and decided to let this ball dry overnight and here is what happens when you do that all right one word of advice here <laughs> do not make the mistake i just made and allowed acrylic residue dry on top of the the pieces because <laughs> it's now become virtually impossible to take off so the day you make this thing Take your time to come in here and with um, something like this this is a kitchen scrubber that's this is plastic you come and then you're gonna you're gonna clean each individual one I didn't do that so unfortunately I had to bring out this little tool that I got from Harbor Freight a while back and raise up some of this stuff. I'm 
consuming a portion of 